Coach Teddy, I have a special bonus on the angles that you're supposed to take to the goal. Uh, you'll like this. When I was a kid, I always wanted to know why. I was very inquisitive. And so I've already talked about getting above the block, getting below the elbow, getting to the midline, to these very dangerous areas of the court. Here, two feet in the paint. I've talked about staying off the baseline. But why is that important? Well, great players play in the middle. They really play in the middle tunnel. And so if this is the key from here to here, this extended all the way up the court would be the middle tunnel. So if right now I'm inside the key and now I'm outside the key, I'm in the paint or the lane, now I'm out of the paint. Right now I'm out of the middle tunnel. Right now I'm inside the middle tunnel. And it's very important players get there all the time because you see kids especially, but, or crappy players, get the ball. And the first thing they do is take the ball out here, straight to the sideline, to their strong hand. Train your kids to stay in the middle tunnel so when they get a rebound, they can get a low rip and go. And get on the heels of the defense, like LeBron does, like Durant does. Really good point guards. Get on those guys' heels. Make them retreat, make them run back, push the pace. But the second you're coming down, if, if you let somebody get you out of the middle tunnel, you get rid of your momentum, the play is over. So here's how I help my kids take the correct angles by not just coaching them, but showing, telling them why, but then showing them why. If I'm here and I'm driving, boom, and I let somebody push me above, I'm going here. If I'm driving from the top, and I still got to get above this block. If I let somebody push me here, I'm shooting the shot they want. But especially in transition, you need to attack directly at this elbow. Watch Russell Wellsbrook. Get into the middle tunnel. Because if you take this angle, you're not getting to the front of the rim. So I just attack the elbow, attack the elbow, attack the elbow. You're coming in with your move. Right. So the five angles that you have to know about on the basketball court, ways to get to the basket, stay off the baseline, stay off the sideline, stay inside the middle tunnel, get to the middle of the floor, get two feet in the paint, always flowing middle, stay off the sidelines. You've got to remember, if you do get pushed that way to stay above the block, Never get pushed down into sucker land or no man land. Always above the block and same going middle. Get below that elbow. You got to fight hard for that position. And when you're scoring in the paint, after you take those correct angles, sometimes they're going to cut it off. They're going to play good D. You have to have practiced getting straight to the block, excuse me, straight to the elbow, popping up, knocking it down. Straight to the block, popping up, knocking it down. And obviously as you build that up, straight to the opposite first marker. If you can get in the bank, look up, boom, get to a spot and rise up, you're going to be able to get that shot whenever you want. And then obviously utilizing, well, first understanding how powerful the midline is. If you stop to think about it, how much common sense that is, how people guard the center of the floor. And if you'll use that common knowledge to your advantage, you're going to be a highly effective player, especially in the mid-range game because you're going to be in the paint more.